just just for a minute. No, that's all right. I'll give you a chance if you want. I'll so Jesus Christ shed his blood for you. He gave his life for you. And he wants you to have his life. He wants you to have his peace. He wants you to have his joy. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Political correctness isn't the way. Political correctness won't take you to heaven. Jesus says, I am the way, not political correctness. I am the way, the truth and the life. People are searching. They're searching for a purpose. They think drugs or they think getting a lottery ticket and win. But that isn't the way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. He is the life. He is the way. And he can give you hope today. If I run into a lorry, I'll get knocked over. If I run into God, I'll either get saved or I'll go to hell. God is a reality. He's real. And we have to be real with Him. Are you going to be honest with yourself? Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Be honest with yourself and seek Him today. Find Him today while you can. Jesus wants to give you hope and a future today. In Jeremiah it says, I have plans for you, plans to give you hope and a future. God has a better plan for you. And you've got to walk in His plan and seek His plan for your life. That begins by trusting Jesus. That begins by looking to Him. And if you trust Him and you believe in Him, you will be set free. You will know His peace. You will know His joy. You will know His love in your life. My friends, Christ did miracles. He turned water into wine. He fed 5,000 people with a few loaves and fishes. Christ did miracles. But the greatest miracle He did was to die for you on that cross. He laid down His life. They whipped Him. They mocked Him. They got a whip and they whipped His back. They whipped it and whipped it. And the blood came down from his back. And they put a crown of thorns on his head. And when he was dying on that cross, he was dying for you. He was dying for you on that cross. That you may be saved. That you may be going to heaven. But if you reject it, in the Bible it says, children of wrath. That if we prefer to get drunk, if we prefer to steal, if we prefer to do those things that are wrong, like fiddling the electric bill or fiddling the gas bill, it calls us children of wrath. And you don't want to be a child of wrath. Because on the day of judgment, when God judges, it will not be nice to be a child of wrath and to be cast into hell. But Christ came and went to hell for you. He went to hell and died for you on that cross. When our soldiers went into the Second World War, they sacrificed their life so that you could have freedom. Well, Jesus sacrificed His life so that you could have freedom. Freedom from guilt. Freedom from addiction. Freedom from worry. Freedom. He's come to give you freedom. And if you trust Him, He will set you free. The truth will set you free. The world is lying to you. Political correctness is lying to you. It's telling you lies. But Jesus is the truth. He is the way and He is the life. And He is the one that you need. He is the one that can give you hope and a future today. Chatterton, God is here today for you. Chatterton, God wants you to know that He sent His Son to give Chatterton a new life. But if Chatterton rejects it, what will you have? You'll have drugs, you'll have violence, you'll have materialism. But what you won't have is abundant life. And Jesus offers you abundant life. He offers you abundant life, a life of joy and peace. Not a life where you're condemned, but a life where you're set free and where you have the peace of the Lord and the joy of the Lord. You may have a pension. You may save up for your pension. But you can't take your pension to heaven. And you can't take it with you when you die. 
You may have a nice house, but when you die, you can't take it with you. You may, wor you may win the lottery ticket and have millions of pounds, but when you die, you can't take it with you. When you die, death is a democracy. It knows no better than to take your life. Death will come and take you one day. Are you ready for death? Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. And I promise you, if you trust him, you will go to heaven. You will go to heaven if you trust him. He is the resurrection and the life. God bless you, Chatterton. Have a lovely day. But always remember, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And one day, one day, Chatterton will bow before Christ. And when we bow, we will either bow in heaven or bow in hell. The choice is yours today. What will you do? Will you trust them as your Lord and Savior? And say, Lord, I believe you. I trust you as my Lord. Or will you say, nah. Just a Bible basher. Well, one day you'll die, and you'll know whether Bible bashers are true or not on your deathbed. Do you know when people die who do not know God? I have a I have a leaflet here of people who have not known God and have died. Listen to what they say. Listen to the atheists when they die. An atheist lady wrote this when she died. Oh, the devil is coming to drag my soul down to hell. I am lost forever. King, King Charles IX, an atheist, said, What shall I do? I am lost. I see it well. Mr. Thomas Scott, an atheist, said, as he was dying, Be gone, you and your trumpetry. Until this moment, I believed that there was neither God nor hell. Now I feel both. I am doomed to perdition. Here's another atheist, Sir Francis Newport. That there is a God I know, that there is a hell, I am equally certain, having received an earnest of my inheritance, there already all the insufferable pangs of hell. These are atheists, atheists who see hell before they die. And what atheist said, I see a great high rising wall rising around me and I'm finding out at last that it is easier to get into hell than it will be to get out. These atheists were dying and when they died they felt they were going to hell. Now let's listen to the Christians. Let's listen to the Christians as they die. Jenny Booth, death has lost its sting. I am almost there. She had a vision of the unseen world and her face became radiant. It's all right there and waved her hand in a token of victory. And Mr. Hommel, I see heaven open and Jesus with his outstretched arms. John Wilmot, when he died, I shall die now, but oh, what unspeakable glories do I see. What joys beyond the thought of expression I am sensible of. You can die with joy and peace. Trust the Lord today and find Him as your Lord and Savior. God bless you.